All right, so let's go on to the next device that I have here. To go along with this, I got this Elect Electcanta. Not exactly certain if that's how you pronounce it, but it's a 120 watt fold up solar briefcase panel. So anyway, it's got these two clips that hold it on this side. Now, if you read here, these are the operating specs of it. Uh, peak power is 120 watts. Power voltage is 18 volts. It goes up to 18 volts. Actually, I think I've seen it harder than that, higher than that. Uh, at maximum sunshine and at maximum draw, it'll draw. It, it can deliver up to 6.6 .6 amps. Uh, it has several types of outputs. It's got USA, US, USB A. Uh, it does 5 watts at 3.4 amps or 9 volts at 2.5, 12 volts at 2 amps. Uh, USB-C does 5 volts at 4.5, 9 volts at 3, and 12 volts at 3 amps and goes up to 15 volts at 3 amps. Um, and that, that's the maximum. Uh, it's got an operating range of negative 10 to 65 degrees centigrade. Um, it never gets down below... Uh, you know, it, 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 negative 10, it's going to be uh, below freezing. Um, so that would be, uh, you know, it can operate below freezing by negative 10 degrees, which is roughly, I don't know. Yeah, let's see, freezing would be 32. So it can go a little bit below freezing, and it can go up to 65 degrees centigrade in operation. Anyway, if you open it up, this is what a solar panel. It's six particular bays. And it's a fairly sturdy piece of material. It's not bendable. You don't want to bend it, but it is a little flexible. But it unfolds up into four particular panels. Um, anyway, let me go ahead and open it up here. And then over here on this side, you've got your bag, your bag of goodies. I've opened this thing up several times, so as you can see, I've actually used it already. Um, in your bag of goodies, um, the Blue, Blue Eddy. It actually uses an eight millimeter plug, so I went ahead and put that in there. I probably will just tape that so it stays on. Um, but you have a whole assortment of different plugs to use with different particular companies. Uh, it came with some carabiners. I actually borrowed one of the carabiners already. The idea behind the carabiners is, is that you've got these holes and you can actually attach it to hang it. You can hang the solar panel up to something that you can attach, maybe to the side of a fence or something like that to get charging and everything else. Inside, you've got a plug here that you can unplug it. Uh, you can actually unplug this, my connection to the Blue Eddy, but you can plug in here and you'll have an Anderson power pole, which actually, if I w could generate enough power to run the ham radio, I've already got all my ham radios mounted with Anderson power poles, so I could plug directly into it. Although I'm going to use the battery as a, as a, sur a surplus sur uh, charge for when, uh, you know, if it gets cloudy and doesn't have enough uh, amperage output. Um, you've also got an airline connector there. Plug that back in so I don't misplace it. All right, along the bottom here, this is your uh, this is your USB connector. So you don't necessarily have to have the Blue Eddy with you. You can actually just take this, have the proper uh, cable, and you could actually just charge your phone directly right here using a USB-C or a USB connector cable. Now, if I open this up, you can see that light comes on because now it's actually generating power because it is getting a little bit of power here. Now, I'm located in North Georgia, um, and so... While it's not necessarily summer yet, we're starting to see summer-like conditions and we've got a very good angle of the sun here. Uh, this panel is rated up to 120 watts maximum. Um, I was actually surprised yesterday when I was charging the Blue Eddy to see it charging at 112 watts. So um, that's actually pretty good. Usually, I figured the most I'd see is like in the 80s or the 90s. Um, with the Blue Eddy, they recommend getting two 200 watt panels. The Blue Eddy can charge up to 120 watts at a time, um, so that would have basically covered it. However, if it does, if this does 100, and 100 watts or 90 to 100 watts pretty regularly, I don't see it. Uh, you know, down the road, it might be useful to get a second, um, but right now, uh, one panel seems to be done to do it. So. Let's uh, let's real quickly uh, connect this, and let's uh, let's hang it out in the sun, and let's see what we're gonna get. Okay, as you can see, I've got the solar panels laid out here. 
Um, anyway, it's got the feet that are on the back. I need to turn it a little bit that way. Um, point it to the sun. I may actually have the angle set up a little bit higher, but we'll look at that real quick. Anyway, in here, I'm generating, according to this right here, I'm generating 95 watts, 96 watts. I don't know if you can see that. So that's actually uh, very good. And in fact, it's uh, enough wattage that the fan needs to come on to keep the unit cool. Uh, one thing I would not recommend, and it's kind of funny, I haven't heard really only one person say this, but you want to keep this device outside the sun. You don't want it to get too hot. Uh, you don't want to kind of get this display to fade or anything like that. So I always just stick it underneath the solar panel so that it can uh, it can go. But as you can see, I've got the power connector plugged into the back. We're inputting the power. Um, we've got uh, everything off, although we really actually could connect some devices and charge them and run them while we're doing that. In fact, I'll probably try that in just a second. Um, anyway, so we're charging at 95 watts. Let me see what happens if I actually take the angle down just a little bit. Do we get any more? And we're at 96 watts here. The sun went below the clouds just a little bit, but it looks like that's probably going to be about 97 watts. It's going to be about what we get, but really honestly, solar panels, I've from what I've seen, you get about 50% of the wattage output that they basically state they give. So considering this is a 120 watt panel to be delivering 97 watts, that's actually very good. Anyway, at this rate here, two to two hours, it'll be charged up at 100%. Um, although I'm gonna basically play on the ham radio, so we probably may end up with a deficit by the time it's done. Anyway, um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the notes below. I'll actually put a serial number and a link to the products that I have. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, so far uh, I've had this for about two to three weeks and I really like it and look forward to actually being able to use it on a semi-regular basis. And definitely it'll be useful if the need ever arises where electricity goes out due to uh, a storm or some type of um, or some type of cyber attack or anything like that. I won't be a hundred percent prepared. I won't be able to hold the house up and run the AC and the air conditioning and the uh, and the freezers and and refrigerators. But uh, I'm one step closer to being a little bit sufficient. Anyway, if you like this video, click like, uh, share it, and um, and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos on this.